Okay, so on the second part of uh, the lecture here, we're going to talk about the numbers and how the numbers flow and what the what the budgets actually look like and how we build them. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the foundation. So the foundation of the budgets uh, are is going to be the sales budget. Okay, so the sales budget, the, the way that it's lined out is we have to have our, our quantity that we're um, anticipating in sales, and then we need to know our price, okay, so for what we're going to sell. Okay, so in, in this one, uh, it leads us out, so we're really doing October, November, December, um, and as part of that, we... We also, and we'll see how this flows through from the spreadsheets, we have September's and January's uh, numbers as well that flow into this, okay? Okay, so we're kind of, we kind of, this is kind of the rolling budget idea anyways, but this is, this is how the budgets are built. So, so what we have here is we have our, our sales, okay, so our sales on this side, these, this is the quantity going down here, and th these are the unit prices. These are the actual sales in dollars right here, okay? So that's basically how the, the how the budget's put together. Okay, then it, then it comes across and really uh, foots and cross foots over here to total sales. So that's going to be an important number that we're going to use later on as well. Now for our merchandise purchases budget. This one is a little more complex, okay? And so what we're doing here is we're we're building off of uh, the assumptions that we create, okay? So the assumptions that are created are that the ending inventory percentage uh, for a given month is going to be 90% of next month's sales. So it goes like this. So 90% here. Uh, so October. So this 800 right here, if we look back at our sales, so let's look back at our sales, we're going to see that the 800 is actually not October's. It's actually November's. Okay. And so that's what we're we're actually plugging in for our purchases. We're plugging in the next month or the month after. Okay, so it's going to flow through. So let's pull that up again here. Okay, so this is November sales. Ninety percent of November sales gives us our budgeted ending inventory. Okay, so that's our seven twenty. Current month. So this actually is October's budgeted amount. Okay, the thousand dollar, right? This actually is October's. Okay, and then uh, that as we add these together, then that gives us our total units needed during the month. All right, okay, uh, we're going to deduct out the beginning inventory. This came from uh, September's ending. So this is September. September's ending is is October's beginning, right? And then uh, as we subtract this out from our units needed, then that gives us a number that we need to purchase. So this is actual purchases made in October is the idea. And so then we can go ahead and slide slide through and do this. So the, the 1400 is actually uh, our next month sales. Okay. So this is December sales, 90%. Okay, that gives us budgeted ending inventory. So that's prepping us at the end of November for December, right? Does that make sense? And then 800 is our actual November sales, right? We had that up here before. Uh, it gives us our total units needed, subtracting out the ending inventory, which slides down from, from uh, oh, we computed that last month. Uh, total, um, total units needed. We actually multiply then this number by the unit cost of our of our inventory, right? So sixty dollars. This gives us our total 
uh, amount in dollars, our total budgeted amount for the months. Okay, so you see kind of how it flows, um, flows through, steps through the months, depending on our assumptions. Okay, so that's kind of a tricky one. Uh, commissions are pretty straightforward. So this is the sales budget. So uh, the budgeted sales, this is from our, our sales budget here. So that's like, again, the sales budget is the foundation. Okay, so our commissions are built off of off of those sales. And we're assuming that we're going to be making the commissions in the same month. We're going to be expending them to the same month. So that gives us that number. Uh, then we're going to have our salary, which is uh, defined you know, ahead of time. It's not based on sales. That's the flat amount um, there. And so that's basically our sales expense budget right there. That's the way it's lined out. And then, of course, we total it up here and at the bottom here. Those are our totals. All right. General expense budget is uh, pretty straightforward. So it's based on usually on salaries, so the total personnel needed uh, in, a, in admin. Uh, equipment, it's based on usually the total equipment um, that we have purchased and that we're depreciating uh, as we go. So then, then here's our totals down here on the bottom. Okay. Okay. Capital expenditures, we're not going to necessarily roll this out into a spreadsheet, but basically it's one expenditure that we're going to be making cash. That'll be important at the end as we talk about rolling the budgets together. Okay, so now that's that's all of our operating and, and supporting budgets here that we work up to. And now we're going to do our cash budget. Okay, so our cash budget we're, is based on our assumptions of when we are going to get the cash in the door. Okay, so the cash comes in the door. September's it rolls forward to October. Really, this is the chunk here. October through December is what we're trying to figure out. September's is going to roll down. This is our accounts receivable that we're going to actually get in cash. Uh, so, and then our 40% uh, percent of this month's sales is going to be added into that as well. Okay. Our accounts receivable for October is going to slide over into November. And then November's is going to slide into December. And then eventually this one right here in December will slide on into January as we roll the budgets forward. Okay, so this, this line right here is really the cash, right? This is what we get as soon as we make the sales. This is our collections uh, as we're making the sales. That's automatic. And then the, the ARs roll forward a month and drop into our uh, cash flow a month later. And then our totals are down here at the bottom. Okay, so that's our totals. So that's uh, that's our cash receipts. The next issue here then is our cash disbursements, right? So when do we have to pay in cash for our um, for the inventory that we're buying, right? Okay. So the inventory that we're buying is going to happen n the month after. So really, September's balance is going to be October's cash out. Okay, so this is September's balance for accounts payable. So that is October's cash out right here. Okay, does that make sense? And then we roll it forward October for November and November for December. And uh, that, there's where we end up with our actual purchases budget uh, amounts. Okay, so our cash budget, as we just talked about, so we just talked about our receipts and the assumptions there. Okay, so we add that to our beginning balance, add it in, subtract out the disbursements, and that will give us our uh, preliminary cash balance. And we'll, we'll see how that works here as we go forward. Um, and then there's a lot of other cash stuff that happens in as well, and we'll, we'll see how that works as well. So here's our beginning cash balance. Okay, so we've got cash. Uh, receipts from customers, and then we've got uh, another another uh, section down here where we're having disbursements, so payments out, 